Rock Eyes would like to welcome Ben Carroll of the band Ra and the Hollow Glow. Hey, what's up, Ben? What's going on? What's up, man? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Great. Very good. Um, let's get started on, on really your early, early years. I, I think you started um, your musical career playing trumpet and then moved on to piano. <laughs> yeah, I did. A, a million years ago. I started trumpet in like uh, grade school, and I, I finished trumpet in grade school, too. <laughs> and, and piano, actually. Wow, wow. Yeah, because my, uh, my daughter actually uh, uh, started with trumpet, and she's still with the trumpet. And, um, you know, she tried a couple other things. She likes the violin and stuff like that, but uh, she's sticking with trumpet for her. You know, I guess she loves it, you know. Cool. Um, then you went to um, uh, Berkeley College uh, Music in Boston. Um, did that help your career at all? Uh, yeah, well, Berkeley was an absolutely a, a, a great experience, you know, just being completely immersed in music for, for you know, every day for uh, a, a couple uh, slash a few years. I, went, I didn't graduate, but, uh, but um, while I was there, I definitely got a lot out of, out of it. Cool, cool, cool. Tell me about the band Absence of Faith. That was my band back in the, uh, around uh, 1999, 2000. We were around for, for about a year to uh, less than two years, but over one year. I don't even know exactly. But, uh, yeah, we were based out of, um, out of the Massachusetts, New Hampshire area, northern Massachusetts, southern New Hampshire, and uh, played all around. And that was really, uh, that was the band I was in right before I joined Ra. Right. And... Um, yeah, it was it was a great experience. You know, I, I was I was still pretty young. I was probably just like twenty twenty one, maybe twenty one twenty two when I was in that band, and uh, that was like my first serious band. Cool, cool. Now, Raw released uh, a Black Sheep in two thousand nine and Black Sun in two thousand eight. Uh, working on anything new? Yeah, we got a new record uh, in the works that'll be out by uh, spring of this year. Cool. Any uh, title or? Um, right now, I'm just calling it the new Raw record. <laughs> <laughs> wow, cool. And um, now uh, you also started the Hollow Glow. Um, why did you decide to start this band? Um, this band, I'm actually I'm actually singing lead vocals and uh, playing guitars. We're, we're, a, we're a trio, um, and I started this basically. Well, it, all, it all actually came about um, because of the direct influence of a good friend of mine, Jamie Vendera, who is a uh, a uh, world-class vocal coach. He's, he's a vocal coach to guys like James Labrie from Dream Theater and uh, Josie from Saliva and Thriving Ivory and Kill Hannah and dozens of other guys that you uh, you, you definitely have heard of. And uh, he's been a friend for years. You know, he's always come out to Raw shows. Um, you know, him and him and Sahaj uh, definitely hit it off on the vocal front. And, uh, you know, that's why he originally started. But him and I just became really good friends over the years. And uh, at one, one point, you know, after Raw had slowed down pretty much uh we haven't done anything since 2008 after we released um black sun black sheep was just a b-sides record right. um and um so I, jamie one day was like i'm gonna teach you how to sing so i was like all right dude sounds good to me you know because if, if a guy with it, his statue says stature says you know i want to teach you how to sing it's not something you're like ah, i don't know so i was like all right <laughs> so uh, i started working with him about three years ago and um He's amazing, you know, if anybody out there is looking to learn how to sing, like he, I mean, I always sang a thing back when vocals and Rob, but I was definitely not lead vocal worthy. Until I started working with him, he definitely beat me into shape, and um, after working with him for a while, I started writing songs and putting that together, and that just evolved naturally into the hollow glow, which originally was just me. All the, uh, all the recordings so far are just uh, me playing everything on them. Um, the first first year, I, the band's been around for about 2,000 years, I say band loose, uh, 2,000 years, about two years, <laughs> seems like 2,000 sometimes, um, and, uh, you know, the first year was basically, I was just writing songs and, and tracking, and, and then, uh, that was 2010, and then 2011, that, all of last year was basically me trying to put together a band, I had a, I had a hell of a time trying to find the guys that really fit to this project, and guys I really wanted to work with, because, you know, I don't want this to be a solo project, and it's not. You know, I, I was looking for guys that I can collaborate with and I get along well with, and uh, I found them. I got a, a, a bass player, Tom, Tom Connors, from up here in Maine, where I'm at, and a drummer, Travis Barton, from uh, from down in New Hampshire, who lives in Rochester, and, uh, yeah, things, things are going great. Right, and you had two releases already? Yeah, yeah, they're basically just uh, both 
our uh, collections of, of demos, and uh, you know we got they, they they came out really good. And the the first the first one I I, I released, and I I just I just released it by myself, you know, so just only available through our website and through our Bandcamp page. And the second one, um, I actually uh, decided just to release through iTunes and uh, iTunes and our, uh, you know, all the uh, digital dis uh, distributors. And uh, it actually it got a lot more attention than I anticipated because you know it ended up landing on the uh, the home page of the iTunes Rock section for a solid month, and I uh, got a, a decent amount of. Uh, press and all that stuff so that was that was really cool but it was kind of anticlimactic at the time because i didn't have a band and i was you know hustling to put a band together but it ended up taking me a full year or just under a full year because i've had the guys that are in the band now Tra travis was the last one to join he joined back in september and uh and now we're uh, we're on fire and we're ready to roll we are actually in the process of recording uh new music right now actually it's about half new and half of the older stuff that, that were my demos we're going to be retracting with the real band. But it's, it's sounded pretty killer so far. At least well, the drum tracks, because that's all we got. <laughs> before I even did research, I listened to a couple of tracks off, uh, you know, some of the stuff you put out and stuff like that. And, and I definitely feel, uh, you know, a, a click with uh, Smashing Pumpkins, Tools, you know, more um, um, music, you know, meaningful music. Uh, and... Uh, the latest video I saw was Burn Away, which uh, I love the beginning, how it slows up and then, the, you know, elevates. Tell me a little bit about that. About the, the, uh, the song? Yeah. The video? Oh, the video, I, I actually, I had nothing to do with the video. That was all animated by um, Anthony Shepard. But the, the song itself is uh, is basically, you know, it's, it's kind of just a, a slow building song. It's definitely influenced by A Perfect Circle and, and bands on that side of things, and definitely Pink Floyd, who is probably um, one of my all-time favorite bands, as well as actually Perfect Circle, too, two of my all-time favorite bands. Right, right. The, the the last release that you just put out, um, I think, had Head West on it and stuff like that, which, uh, you know, you're listening to the CD and stuff, and, and it's definitely have a lot of diversity in, in the music. Um, are these songs like... Um, Memories, or how they come to you? Um, basically, yeah, very, a lot, most of them are, are, you know, very personal life experiences. Cool, 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 cool. And what's your hopes for this band? I want to, uh, I want to get this band everywhere. My hopes is, is to get it to blow up and take it national, you know? And, uh, things are, things are picking up pretty nicely here. It's looking like that's going to, uh, that's going to be happening. Right now, we're focusing on the Northeast, uh, for the winter. But come spring, we're going to st start spreading out. Cool. cool. Getting out, you know, further and further. Right. And there's no chance of you leaving Ra. I don't know. I'm in Ra. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's two completely different things. Oh, the Hollow Glow, you know, doesn't... It's it's probably a sim similar genre of music, but it, it definitely doesn't sound anything like it, because uh, that would just be pretty boring. Oh, <laughs> two bands find the same thing. True, true. Is there anything else coming up for you that you'd like to talk about? Um, just, uh, just the Hollow Glow and, uh, Ra, really, those are my two main things. Well, I'm actually also doing another record with a band called Half Past My Sin. They, they just, uh, hired me to come on as a guitar player, but that's, it's pretty cool because Jason Bittner from Shadows Falls is on drum on that record, which is a big reason, one of the biggest factors of why I ended up taking the gig. So I actually start tracking that, uh, come early February, in, in a week or so. Cool, cool, cool. And then, thing, would you like to say anything to your fans? Um, yeah, come out and see the show, and if you do, come say hi, because I always, I always hang out and, uh, say what's up after our set, and, uh, I love to, uh, love to chat and, uh, you know, get to know people. That's, that's where it's at. You know, we used to always do that with Ra in the early days, and I, I saw, you know, just, just for fun, but I saw what a difference it makes, too, because, you know, Ra's first tour, we were playing to, like, five people. You know, nobody had ever heard of us. Do you call my name at Just Hit Radio? But we would, you know, we would just hang out with everybody after the show, because it's not like there were a thousand people screaming at us. But those people ended up being people that, you know, became our friends. And, you know, that, that made touring further down the road a lot more fun because we knew people in all the towns and, you know, made people that we were looking forward to hanging out with. Great, great. Well, thanks a lot for the little chat we had, and uh, good luck. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. Talk to you later. Bye, man. Bye-bye.